A 70 year old man was killed in a fire in Brooklyn that investigators now believe was set intentionally. It happened last night in bed and one other person was hurt. CBS 2's Christy Kalishian spoke with the victim's family was gut wrenching. Kron and her neighbors still in their clothes from the night before are trying to process how their Friday night in turned into a frantic escape from their Monroe Street home. We got everybody out rapidly. Like we ran all the way up four stories like four times. We got everybody out before we could see the fire. Neighbor Justin Coward has lived in the four story building his whole life. He was playing video games in his third floor apartment Friday night just before 1130 when he smelled and saw smoke coming from the first floor. He rushed his neighbors, about 10 families, out to safety, but wasn't able to get one neighbor who first responders found inside unconscious. I thought he was already out. I didn't know he was still in there. I did not know he was still in there. I would have got him out, too. It was 70-year-old Vitas Roberts, who was pronounced dead at the scene. The father and grandfather worked as a carpenter. His heartbroken daughters living in Florida and St. Vincent video chatted with a family friend Saturday morning, describing their dad as a family man. Dad was hardworking and loved, and he shouldn't have died that way. Roberts' 65-year-old girlfriend of over 20 years he lived with, Jennifer, was also taken to the hospital for smoke inhalation in stable condition. She was in distress. She was just head down. At this time, investigators believe the fire was set intentionally. Police have someone in custody they're questioning. Who has ever done this and needs to be held accountable? That's all we can say right now. Neighbors say leading up to this, there didn't appear to be any sort of conflict or scenario that may have led to somebody wanting to set a fire here. It's very disheartening. It is very, dis it's disturbing. We all could have lost our lives last night. To live in amongst people that do that type of stuff is crazy. Like, I ain't, I ain't expect that. In Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn, Christy Kalishian, CBS 2 News.